Thanks, Coach. So it's, a, it's a little different talking here in a suit action in front of everybody. There's a few more parents involved when I usually talk in front of the team, so I got to kind of change the tone a little bit. You know? but it's not the pregame in the outfield here. Um, no one's getting stung. Uh, so when we decided to kind of come together and make the ring, one of the main things we talked about when we talked about the face was we decided to go with the C. Uh, when we look at it and we think about what represents the baseball program, the C that's on the the hat that kind of represents us, you know, and then we just have a bunch of different logos that we kind of use interchangeably doing a bunch of things, but when we think about the baseball program, that old English C with the grip in the middle really kind of captivates, captivates what we are as baseball program and kind of what we represent. So we kind of decided to go with that in the middle, and then we went over, we went, something you might ask, Rips 316. Yeah. That's a different one. That one, uh, you know, there's a couple, there's a dual purpose with the 316. One of them, you know, we are a religious Jesuit school. For God so loved the world that he gave us his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So if you believe in the grip, you shall prosper. And you know, that's, that's a good thing to say. We let all parents know that one. <laughs> but there's another meaning to it. You know what I mean? I think there was no better sign of kind of how significant 316 was than when uh, Niagara, I remember Coach Mass sent the message in the group, Niagara punched your ticket to the tourney at 316 p.m. And you know what 316 means when the good man is Stone Cold Steve Austin. He says, you come in there and you kick some butt. You know, and that's a clean version. But, you know, uh, Stone Cold, we had a lot of guys who were uh, big 1990s, 2000s WWE fans uh, grew up on that. So the, the 316 really kind of had some sort of significance for us. And we kind of adapted to the 316. We got shirts made up and all that. I don't know if you've seen those. but. Uh, that, that was kind of one of the biggest parts that we've had, so we kind of felt like that was something that absolutely needed to be on a big part of the ring. Uh, and then you look at the other side, you got the name, the, the year, and then we kind of did something new with the jersey, we had the number on it, and kind of made it to look like our, our blue jerseys that we have, so, and the gold jerseys we too, so. We kind of wanted to do something different, you know, we had the other ring before, and the other two rings we've had, and just the numbers on there, we felt like that was a little spin, something we could do, so it was unique, and had the jersey, and we made it look pretty sharp, in my opinion. Uh, and then there was another thing too we got on the inside that says, bang. Now, some of you may wonder, what the heck is bang? Yeah, it's a good question. But, speaking of questions. That is the wise philosopher of Trinidad James once said, <laughs> they don't ask no questions. All they do is, bang. So, you know, and that is from a work remix song, and that's kind of one of those songs. <laughs> When you play 57 games, when you play 20 degrees, 30 degrees, sometimes it feels less than 20 degrees, who knows? You kind of need something to get going through the season. You know, you need something to dig deep. When you're playing that midweek game that you drove four hours to West Virginia to play, <laughs> it's freezing, you gotta find a way to dig deep. And it's not always easy. You know, sometimes you need things from random songs to get you through it. You know, whether it's beginning near Western Carolina, and you got the coachy there, you know, trying to get the boys fired up. Uh, you know, sometimes you gotta have just a hockey helmet and a stick and gloves on the side, and people gotta ask you questions and go, buddy, you're doing the wrong sport. And yeah, hey, I know, all right? And you gotta do something. Or, whether it's at University University, taking your test there. You know, I mean, we got guys who majored in, in wayfinding, controlling the controllable things, or so what? The adversity university was kind of one of the things, you know, it, it, it's tough and a lot of the players are laughing and all the parents are going, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> but the uh, adversity university is kind of something that we really embraced and I would say was kind of one of the main focuses of the whole team was, was being able to always find a way. Something's going to happen, you get a bad call, guess what? That was the worst thing you could do to us. The worst thing you could do was give us a bad call. So you say, so what? Give us a bad call. That's fine. We'll find a way to move on. Well, everybody else is going out there complaining, trying to figure out excuses, and you said at the end of the game, go ahead. We're going to find a way to move on, keep going, control the control of things. So I think that's just kind of one of the things, and that's, that's the biggest part of why this team, I think, had the success that it did. Because there's going to be ups and flows throughout the season. There's going to be ups and downs. People are going to be hurt. People are going to go down. People are going to do well, throw. Everything always happens in a natural flow. But when you face that adversity and you face those difficult times, I mean, there's, you have to have that resiliency to be able to have to dig deep and be able to overcome. 
And I think that's kind of what, why this program's had such success that it has, and why we're celebrating another ring this year, is because it's the coaching staff and the program and the care and love that put in the players that they have to develop, not only as, as players on the field, but as people and the ability to adapt. You know, and, and the lessons that I've learned from playing for Kenesha, playing under Coach Maz, you know, Coach Beebe, all the players, players that are part of the program, there's just such lessons that you've been able to learn that you're gonna be able to carry over for the rest of your life and how to be able to deal with stuff and how to be able to deal with adversity and keep growing. I mean, it, you know, it's not an easy job. We had people come in, we had people who graduate last year here for one year, two years, three years, four years, and five years. <laughs> so that's not an easy thing to do. You know, you got people from all over, all over the place, all different backgrounds, all different ages, but we have to come together Grind through some adversity and get us a nice, beautiful room. So, with that, I just want to ask you any questions?